Okay, you got that lot happening in the snow. Snow's all disappeared in Scotland. What can you do to improve your training a little bit? Simple trip. Try and get the GoPro on the kids. You tried it in the, ham the helmets. That fits fairly well. But you've got to stick a pad on their helmet or they've got to use one that fits a lot. Not the easiest thing to do. You can put the GoPro on the, the boom. We've used that on the stick. Extend out the top and up above. But to try and get a, a, a more natural way of skiing, we've been trying to put the GoPro onto a rucksack. So you can actually do all the ski moves you would normally go through but still have the freedom to ski as per normal, but with the camera on board. Not on the helmet, not on the chest, but to try and see some of the moves that are happening down across the body. So what we've done, taking a slalom pole, okay, it's quite of these things lying about, and we've done this type of thing to it. Use an old friend, if you've done any boot fitting before, you come across these little beasties. Fantastic bit of kit. Gotta be careful when you're using it though. The only other thing you're gonna need, recognize it. So, Number one, take the broken gate, get rid of the base. Look after the screws. I'm going to use the heat gun to put the bends. Now the bends are actually a little bit more complex than that. In this rucksack, okay, we're going to try and fit this into the X frame of the rucksack itself. And to do that, we take advantage of the features in a modern rucksack. This is the Minim by Salomon, and it's the Minim 30. So the light, it is a minimum 30. What we've done here is we cook the slalom pole into the falling position. If you have a look, using a heat gun on the corners, okay, just as you would do with a boot fitting, maybe a little bit hotter than a boot fitting, taking that triangular shape and also giving it a curve in that direction. Idea being fits in with the X frame within the rucksack. The idea is we're going to put the, the, this X frame across the way within the rucksack but taking advantage of a very simple little design feature which is this small drink hole in the corner. My camel back. Always wear your helmet in the kitchen. Using small hydration holes at the side, we're going to fit through so the X shape now fits in to the dark side proper. It's now fitting in an X ray in the rucksack. And we can secure down the bottom corners so that X frame is secure to the X frame in the rucksack. You can bend this to suit yourself. The idea is it's going to be wide enough to clear the helmet area. Okay, we've done it with two different slalom poles. This one and this one here. This one's got the GoPro mounted on it. Ends of the poles, the slalom pole would normally look like so. But what we've done here is to take a wooden sphere, get a little bit more protection. You could use a ball of some sort on the end. In the skiing position, this could be pointing directly forward, so to minimise any impact damage, the ball in the end. This is an earlier model, the slightly shorter rucksack, which gave good position, but had a little bit too much movement. So we've gone for the longer rucksack, with a longer back, so the ski movement forward, we had a longer contact across the back. Positions can be low, and over the shoulder, going up to higher and coming forward, so looking down across the skier. We'll try and show you some shots of that. Have a go, be safe when you're doing it, and uh, learn if anybody else is doing it, stick it online. It seems to work, it seems to give you a unique, unique hands-free skiing video. Without the head, without the chest, it gives you an alternative mount. It can be used forward, 
anywhere along that. So simply using the handlebar mount, you can slacken off, move along the tube, relock. And using this combination of we can get quite a wide range of different angles. A couple of things to be away for, aware of if you're thinking of doing this. One is to give enough clearance between the helmet so we have any falls movements round about there. Impact is light and we'd recommend wearing a helmet if you're ever trying this type of thing. Second thing is the rucksack itself should be secure. That is, if you can, simply chest and waist buckles so that the movement is really really limited when you so straight away you can see in this one the angle is a lot further out put the camera further forward and the angle of the camera on this one gives us a chance to film directly down so we can see what's happening in the front area when you're skiing okay that can be moved round and because we've got the mounts we can also change the angles that we're looking at so we get some fairly detailed four you see position here, the camera is going to get views in the front, you can also turn to get shots of body and lower down and you can position it so you don't see the rig at all. The only thing you see is somebody skiing with a rucksack on. So clearance of the helmet, any movement on the body is transferred straight to the, the GoPro. Because of the wide angle lens you don't get too much shake. So at the moment we've got two models under trial, if you fancy giving it a go, very simple. It's a rucksack, X-Frame rucksack, we've used the minims from Salmon, the slalom pole, then this one we've cut through the bag at the top and the minim coming through on the, the other side, we can take advantage of the hydration hole, comes through there no problem. Whether you go from one side, on the end. And this one, so between the two packs, we've got one going out that way. I want to go out that way. Try it out to see what happens. So the angles of the two, this one comes a little bit further forward, this one slightly longer. So we have the slalom pole with the, uh, the and this curve will follow the curve of the rucksack, the X-frame of the rucksack. All you need, basic tools. About 300 millimeters long. The rest of the slalom pole, that gives you four, 800 on top. 